Good morning there guys. The G-Man from Texas here. Hey, today I'm going to be installing my new Smart Strike on my Hummingbird Helix 7. This card is supposed to take you close to where the fish are according to weather conditions, time of year, and so forth. Sounds pretty incredible to me, so we're going to take it out there in the lake and give it a try. Alright, so the box comes... Uh, with the card, the Smart Strike card, and this is the adapter, the SD adapter, and in here is the micro SD card. I use the micro SD on my Helix 7. It also brings this nice little card carrying case. Uh, I just put my Navionics card in here because, tell you the truth, guys, that Navionics is not doing much for me. So, we're gonna see, you know, I'm one of those fishermen that I need all the help I can get. I'm going to put this on my Helix and check it out. Okay, it says here that you should make sure you have your Helix with the latest update on the software. At least higher than 1.15. I think I have the latest, but I want to show you how to check for that. You hit menu when it starts up and go down to where it says system status. And go right. In here you'll see that the software version, I don't know if you can see it, is 2.28. And that's higher than 115 as they recommend. 2.28 at this time, it's the latest software. So that's how you check that out. Okay, we'll get out of here. Okay, so we are in the chart view, and supposedly I'm supposed to hit the check mark, and here you see Smart Strike. I hope you can see this lighting. I don't know how the lighting is. So we go to Smart Strike, and we have some options. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the lake that we're on. So I'm going to select Lake Fork. Okay, it's selected there, so now I'm ex now I exit. And I'll go up. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is uh, pretty crazy. There we go. Smart strike. Let's see. Let's try that again. Huh. It's not working like the way it's supposed to exit. Alright. So we powered it back up and tried it again. So we've got our large mouth bass, spring, morning, hazy skies, calm wind, murky stained water. So this time we're gonna, see, we're gonna execute that search again. There we go. Ah, there we go. All these little icons, kind of pinkish, purplish, with a fish on. It's supposed to be word bass. It's supposed to be according to the parameters I gave it. Is it a toy? Does it work? We're gonna find out because we're going to the lake and check this out. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're here out on the lake, and we're going to try this uh, Smart Strike and see if it works. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is um, on my maps here on my Hummingbird, I'm going to adjust the offset, which means uh, you know, the lake goes up and down. So to get an accurate reading of the depth where I'm at, I'm going to adjust that. And this is, gonna, this is how I do it. 
Okay, I don't know if it's going to show up here uh, because of the lighting, but this is what I'm doing. I'm on the chart view, right? So I'm going to hit menu twice. And it says the contour line says I'm at 7 feet. So I'm going to go down to offset. And uh, it, the chart says I'm at 7 feet, but it says here I'm at 6 and a half, right? So that means I'm, my chart is over, so I've got to go negative 1 foot. So right down here, it says 0. I'm going to go 1 foot negative. And I'm gonna exit out, and that's it. Now I'm in the red because my boat's moving. But uh, that's how I got calibration between the Hummingbird and the lake. Now everything that shows up here, it's uh, it's accurate. All right, power down, power back up. Let's try this again. More smart strike. Target species. We're gonna do crappie. Spring, morning, clear sky, calm, stain water, execute. Oh, there we go. It says right here in this, these parts here is where supposedly I can find some crappie. So we're going to go there and see if that's true, guys. All right, guys, so all this purple supposed to be an area where the crappie is supposed to be all right so I've got my spot lock on and uh, I'm gonna go fishing I don't see any fish down there on my Lorenz, but we're going to give it a try anyway. Well, I've been here for a while using live minnows, but after a while, we got nothing. Okay, so there's no luck there, so I'm gonna to move to this other area here and see if this area has any fish. So this one was a skunk. All right, guys, so I moved this new area. All this purple it's supposed to be ground for crappie today. Let's try this spot and see. Been here a couple of hours, guys. Tried like three different spots. Nothing, not even a bite. All right, day two. Came back out the next day. That smart strike ain't working for me, so I went over to Crappie Haven. I asked Ed, "What's the fishing report, Ed?" He said, "Go out to the bridge. Go to the second piling." Go down 30 feet, they'll be at 20 feet. Where the mouth, guys? We're gonna try that. Because the smart strike ain't working for me. Oh, fish on. Small. Small crappie. Baby crappie. Alright, so uh, I need to eat some fish, guys. So, uh, Smart Strike ain't doing it. Go to the source, the bait shop.
here we go again. Let's see. Uh, oh, this one looks better. Yep. This looks like a keeper. We'll, uh, we'll measure them out. I think this one's going on the frying pan. Let me put them in the ruler just to make sure. Yep. It's a keeper. 12 inches. Well, this is supposed to be a smart strike video, but you know, guys, I was out there all day yesterday, different spots, didn't do nothing for me, and I wanted to get some fish, so what do you do? Ask the experts. All right, we'll try this again. Oh, fish on again. Woo, here we go. Ah, not too big, not too big, but it's better than nothing. At least I'm catching out here. Wow. Oh, this guy swallowed it. I don't need my pliers. Swallow that hole. Don't look big enough. Well, let me check the size here in the ruler just in case. Nope, too small. Nine inches. All right, so here's a summary, guys, on that smart strike. I went out a couple days. The app set where the crappie should be. There was nothing there. I went to Crappie Haven to get some minnows and I asked the expert over there, what are you here? He says, go under the bridge right now, 30 foot of water, they'll be at 20 foot. Went under the bridge, caught a bunch. Most of them are small, only kept a couple. But uh, there's nothing like the word of mouth of other fishermen. Now at Smart Strike, didn't pan out for me. But the app, the card, Lake Master is good for navigation, so I'll give it a plus for that. You know, you can get the Lake Master, you don't have to get the Fish Strike, the Smart Strike, but if you do, it's supposed to tell you according to parameters, according to experience and history, where they should be, okay? Something that we all know already, you know? But uh, anyway, that's what I got from the Smart Strike app. It was a bum, it was a bust. But uh, nothing like word of mouth from other fishermen. Especially guy running a bait shop. <laughs> like Ed, a crappie haven. Stop by there, he's a great guy. And he'll tell you where the fish are. Hey guys, till next time, thanks a lot for subscribing. Love y'all. The G-Man saying, peace y'all. <laughs>